we're really dependent on bees for pollinating uh, a large uh, group of crops um, that we rely on, uh, rely on for food. A lot of the things like blueberries, peaches, apples, would really not exist at the levels that we have them now if we didn't have bees to pollinate those crops. What's happening to honeybees is called um, colony collapse disorder. And um, basically what happens is that a, an apparently healthy hive one week will be uh, essentially decimated the next week. And all of the adult bees sort of disappear for reasons that are unknown. We need to just understand more about how the biological processes in honeybees work to be able to understand like maybe eventually, you know, oh, like how can we help them? Why are they dying? How can honeybees counteract stresses that are put upon them, such as like damage stressors like pesticides? Or even is there anything about the pollen that they're eating? If we can better understand them, and perhaps we can understand why they're not doing such a good job of uh, handling the stresses, maybe how we can help them manage the stresses better, and then uh, hopefully be more healthy. The idea of coming back to a liberal arts college where I could really interact with student, young student scientists was uh, something that really was attractive to me. Most of the times they show up and don't have any experience doing research and so you know, you're kind of starting at square one, um, not just technically uh, and, the, and the techniques and protocols that you do, but also how do you think about answering biological questions? Uh, you know, it's a certain way of thinking and it doesn't, you don't necessarily get that uh, from lecture classes or even lab classes. I've been working with Professor Snow for a um, little over a year now. I come in in the morning, um, first thing I usually need some honeybees to work with. So we'll go up to the top of Barnard Hall, I will put on my honeybee suit so I don't, I, I don't want to get stung. And I'll usually capture some bottles of bees. I will come back to the lab, dissect them, look at the contents of their midgut. I remove the pollen which they carry on their legs and do different um, experiments on those. I take their abdomen and then I do certain procedures on the guts and abdomens. You have to believe in yourself enough, I guess, that you are doing the right thing. Um, but you also have to be cautious enough to um, be constantly asking yourself, how can I make this better? What might I be doing wrong? You know, you get used to working with your hands. It almost becomes like, it's just muscle memory. It's, it almost, I'm making it sound like a sport, but it kind of, I just, that's kind of how I feel about it. The uh, barn students I've worked with have all been um, excited about being able to learn about biology that nobody knows about, you know, sort of push the limits of our knowledge, which is what research is kind of all about. We've sort of uncovered a potentially novel antimicrobial role for pollen, using all the stuff that they've learned from textbooks to push the textbook for the next generation a little bit farther.